<sighs> and the start of a new day. Oh. Got some messages here. Um, Hunter, I am bored, and you make me less bored. I sent directions to your spark. Meet me at that location. Oh. Okay. What are we doing here, Magic? We're unwinding. Together. Really? Hmm. I was not aware that I was wound. I did not say you. This is a place I like to take all my... colleagues. Uh-huh. To do what, exactly? I appreciate it. So we just stand here and... Enjoy each other's company. Silently. Okay. I will try. I said shut up already. You're ruining the warm vibes. Sorry. Sorry. Cool. As I against multiple individual heroes, overall team friendship level in the Abbey has increased. Granting powerful rewards like hero combo abilities, which can be used in combat and much more. Excellent. Spider Man would probably appreciate it if you looked in on him. I think he's quite impressed by you. Is that so? Alright. Um let's let's uh drop by for a chance. I am the web slinging arachnid of justice. I am the fearsome spider who just ruined your day. Wait, wait. Who who owns the night? I I am the eight-legged bringer of justice! I am Spider-Man! <clears throat> Mr. Spider-Man? check with the doc. You might have an inner ear thing going on? Pardon? Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Spider-Man! Spider-Man. Oh, hey, Hunter. Didn't see you there. Everything's fine. This is completely normal. All the top heroes do it, I'm sure. Do what? Practice their hero voice. In my case, my spider voice. I figured if I was going to be teaming up with this group, I ought to up my game. Sound more, I don't know, scary, I guess. I see. Alright. Well, your spider voice is very noticeable. Really? Did it give you pause? Strike fear in your heart as you approached the spider's lair? It struck something. Something like that. Yes! That means a lot to me, coming from you. I don't know too many demon hunters. It's nice to get an expert opinion every now and then. And if All I right. might add an opinion of my own, you are much nicer than Craven. I actually came here to thank you. Thank me? For what? And by the way, does this thanks also involve pizza? I have to say battling Eddie always works up the appetite. If I were to acquire this pizza, who would I give it to? Your identity remains a mystery to us all. Oh, you want to meet the spider man beneath the mask. Sorry, that's a no-go. My true identity is a closely guarded secret. Not even MJ or Aunt May know for... Wait, I see what you're doing there. What? Sorry, Hunter, the mask's gotta stay on. I hope that's not gonna make things weird between us. Of course not. The Abbey is a place of many secrets. Your identity is safe within these walls. It's not the walls here I'm worried about. It's out there in the real world where the people I love are. No mask can hide you or them from Lilith. Her gaze can pierce your very soul. Yeesh. Reminds me of my best friend's dad. And that was before he became a flying goblin. I know this is not easy for you, Spider-Man. The people here are very different from one another. 
They do not always see eye to eye. But one thing I can say in truth is that I trust them with my very life. Lives. Wait, did you just say lives as in plural? Yes. Yes. I am really gonna enjoy getting to know you, Hunter. And we would enjoy getting to know you. The real you. Listen, let me think it over, alright? It's a big decision. Gotta meditate on it. Check my horoscope. Roll it around in my head, and maybe we'll talk soon. Cool? Cool. I really need to think this all over. Alright. If you insist. Until then. You told me you were on it for days. I meant process my findings. This coil of yours is a simple substance. There's no one click option. I get it. Just get back to me as soon as you can. You'll be the first I call. Hello. Something amiss, Captain? Nope, nothing. Just Bruce being Bruce. More importantly, really glad we got Spider Man back, Hunter. Not sure if you've noticed it, but these end-of-day scenarios really tend to put a damper on morale. It's nice to get a solid win, you know? Of course. Every victory we have inches us closer to stopping Lilith. And every life we save... ...is another ally against her. In this case, a wisecracking radioactive Spider-Man ally. Which yes. is a good thing, now that we know Hydra has been augmenting their soldiers with this radioactive green gamma shampoo. We're gonna need all the help we can get. Speaking of helping, should probably get back to it. There's a certain special Hydra mad scientist out there whose face is just begging for a smacking. And these gamma signatures of his don't seem to want to analyze themselves. Talk to you later. Until then. All right. Hydra forces in this area are causing trouble. Let's take them down. I will do as you ask. Sounds easy enough. Uh, you've gained the shove ability. Spending a redraw on certain Iron Man abilities will provide gameplay bonuses for the ability. I do not fear Interesting. You or your friends. Oh. I've drawn a hero combo card. Because of increased uh, okay, abilities, two heroes work together to deal massive damage. Uh, well. <clears throat> sure. This we gotta do that. We do this. We do uh this enjoy your rest Perfect. Whoever gets the job done. Target's moving. There we 
we go. There we go. Uh. Oh. Okay. Let's let do Iron Man do it then. Anything else we can do? I think we're good for now. Let's see what this does. Oh, twenty seven credits. Redraw to add knockback. Oh. Okay. Um can I knock him into the... no. What about the guy that I marked? Oh, yeah. Let's knock him over there. Sure. You guys should talk to your union, I don't think you're supposed to be fighting on our level here. Yep. Uh, injured again? Come on. Your this changes nothing. The stench of their sins fills the air. There we go. That's more like it. Uh, there we go. Let's do that. Let's do this. Got my face. Perfect. We've done it. Excellent work. Um, hello? Hi. Hello? Hunter! I need your help. What's wrong? Magic's birthday is coming up. I want to throw her a surprise party, but I can't do it alone. Alright. What do you need me to do? If you could get the other Midnight Suns on board, it would take a huge weight off my shoulders. Should I mention this to Tony, Carol, and the others? 
Uh, I don't know if they can keep a secret. I'm not even sure if I'll tell them about the party until that night. Hmm. Oh, but I should probably invite Spider-Man. He seems like he'd really get into it. All right. Do you really need me to do this? I don't, but I want them to see more of what I see. That you're part of the team. It'll mean a lot coming from you. All right, if you say so. All right. Let me know what you want. Still figuring out who and what I need, but I'll message you when I do. Probably tomorrow? Oh. Sounds good. All right. Thanks for this. Do you have any questions? Why the surprise? Why not a normal birthday party? It'll be fun! All your friends showing up at once to wish you the best. <laughs> Doesn't that sound fun to you? I suppose. To have friends do that for me, it is a wonderful thought. Truly, having friends at all is a welcome change from my youth. <sighs> no kidding. It's hard to make friends when you're on the run. Yes. Where are we going to have the party? I'm still scouting locations, but somewhere inside the Abbey. We'll make it work. Very well. That is all I had. I'm good for now. I'm good if you're good. Thanks for this, Hunter. Can't wait to see the look on her face. Yes, I'm sure it's going to be something. Oh. There is my ferocious Charlie girl. How are you doing today? All right then. Um. Oh, all right. Talk to Spider-Man, and also join a hangout. So you actually slept in that thing? That was probably a mistake. I kept having dreams that I was swallowed by Sandman. That's uh actually happened, you know. Look, man, I get it. It's not a decision to take lightly. I struggled with it for a while myself. What changed your mind? I guess I finally started trusting these fools. They may be a little crazy, but they're like family. And what about your real family? Don't you worry about what could happen? Ah, they're back in LA. Much as my kid brother Gabe would love this place, they don't know a thing. Whatever happens here, never gets back there. To be honest, I don't even think we're in the same dimension. Um, what? Uh, never mind that. Point is, this is a safe place with good people. If there's anyone who can keep a secret, it's them. Sort of comes with the territory of being a midnight sun. Most of our lives weren't sunshine and candy before Caretaker recruited us. And now we've got a gigantic, demonically powered pizza oven in the forge. Excuse me, would you... Hey man, it's okay. We can talk about something else if you want. Yes, please stay. Can't. Got something I need to do. Oh. I really thought I had him with the pizza thing. What is it with you both and Okay, pe you wanted it, you got it. Uh, wanted what? I give you by popular demand the man underneath the mask. Peter Parker from oh. Forest Hills, Queens. Nice to see you finally ditch the spider face doily, Peter. We're all friends here. You got our attention, so what do you got to say, Petey? Um, hi? Hello. After all that build-up, I hope I didn't disappoint anybody. I mean, I can't shoot laser beams, light my skull on fire, or glow like the sun. Like Tony said, outside of the costume, I'm just boring old Peter Parker. I don't even have a cool screen name. Well... I have seen you in battle with Venom, Peter. Believe me when I say you are anything but boring. Aw, oh, thanks. Jeez, Hunter, you trying to make me blush? N no. I not realize you embarrassed so Just easy. a compliment. Oh, yeah. I actually surprise myself at the things that embarrass me. Speaking of, 
Now that we took care of the giant radioactive spider elephant in the room, we yes. might as well get to know one another. If there's anything else you're curious to know about me, ask away. I'm apparently an open book now. So what do you say, Hunter? Care to step inside this spider-verse? The... the what? Um... I have encountered werewolves, half-vampires, dragon men. But I have never encountered a Spider-Man before. There must be quite a story about how you became this way. It's actually not the most epic story. Sort of a field trip gone wrong scenario, if you get me. <laughs> not really. Well... A small irradiated spider bit me while I was working up the nerve to ask Mary Jane Watson if she'd like to check out the Pym Particle exhibit at the Empire State Museum. Next thing I know, right. high-energy photons injected into my bloodstream started altering my genomic sequence. At first, I thought I was having an allergic reaction, and then I started climbing up the walls. I told my Aunt May it was late-onset puberty. She, uh, believed me for some reason. So, how about you? get bit by a radioactive hunter or something? Um... Not quiet. Years of discipline and training under Caretaker's guidance forged me into the warrior I am today. Caretaker is like your aunt, right? Yes. Yes. Sister to Lilith. She raised me when my mother fell. Aunt May became my guardian after my parents... Um past. I guess we have that in common. I suppose I we suppose do. so. And just how many years has there been a Spider-Verse? Oh, you mean how long have I been doing this? A few years now. You should have seen the original suit. I'd still have it lying around the dorm somewhere. It makes a great blanket. How about you? How long have you been hunting? At this point, I suppose I am well over three centuries old. Uh, that is, if you count the years spent above and below ground. Of course. I mean, whatever gets you senior discounts sooner, am I right? You are a fascinating man. Ooh, I like that. Friendly neighborhood fascinating man. I wonder if Stark owns that trademark yet. This Venom creature's obsession with you is strong enough to overcome my mother's call. Until now, I thought that impossible. It's, uh, complicated. Eddie, the guy underneath the giant oozing mouth, was a reporter with me at the Bugle a while back. I may have ruined his career by exposing a phony source of his on this big murder case. This, of course, led him to the alien symbiote that had secretly bonded with me after my original suit was trashed on Battleworld. We can talk about that little adventure later. Long I see. Short, I thought I had eradicated the suit with a giant church bell. Before I knew it was alive, of course. Anywho, mm -hmm. the alien symbiote decided to merge with Eddie. And the two have been hunting me down ever since. It's your basic simple misunderstanding, right? Well, I guess every superhero needs a super nemesis. Venom is mine. It must be tough having your own mom be yours, huh? Yes. That's... one word for us. From what caretaker has told me, Lilith ceased being my mother the day she gave her soul to the Darkhold. The Mother of Demons is all that remains now. There's some movies you and I really need to watch. It used to be a trilogy. Now, I've lost count. Either way, call me a romantic, but I believe there's still good in everyone. Guess that's why I have a soft spot for Eddie. And the symbiote, too. That symbiote saved my life on more than a few occasions. Deep huh? down, I know there's more than what you see on that slimy, oozing, brain-eating surface. If you say so. You do not seem like a typical Avenger. 
Avenger? Me? Oh, no. Between my double major at Empire State, taking photos for the Bugle, and, you know, the whole protecting the neighborhood thing, who has the time? Besides, they haven't asked me to join them, um, yet, of course. What about you? How's this whole Midnight Sun thing work? You like the captain or something? Perhaps according to a prophecy, but in truth, it is only unified together that we will all prevail over Lilith and Cathan. Ego is simply the tool of our enemy. You sure you're not already an Avenger? Definitely know a guy who'd love to hear that. Here's a hint. It rhymes with smapped in Hermerica. Hmm. Well, I should, um, should like to meet this smapped in one day. Thank you, Peter. I should be going. This was eye-opening. For both of us? I gotta thank you too, Hunter. I was sort of holding back before. You know, didn't want to be a chatty Charlie. But now the floodgates are open. Let the real Peter Parker flow through. Anyway, um, yes. you gotta go. I'll talk to you soon. Of that, I have no doubt. Farewell, Peter. Good chatting with you, Hunter. A new caller is available. Oh. Hunter's callers can be equipped at any time outside of combat. Oh, passives. We got an ivory collar. The next attack card played is not discarded. Hmm. Okay. I'll take it. Ready to fight some crime? How's it going? Hello. Now this place feels like a superhero lair. Man, I wish we had some so, uh, in New York. Who can we hang out with? Robbie, Tony. Heads up, Hunter. Hello. They're not always glamorous, but these missions are still crucial to stopping Lilith. Um, sure, let's go with Doctor Strange. What do you want to do, man? Um, you look like a stargazer. Of all the enemies we could be facing, I'm grateful Lilith is our foe. Grateful? What makes you say that? Lilith threatens the entire world. There are more powerful enemies? Of course. But for Miss Minoru and her young allies, none knew that Giborim would have culled this earth of sentient life. The fabled Takali Lee? Eh, not so fabled. The Dweller in the Darkness? Only the Ancient One's power drove that sucker-spackled beast back to the depths. Better the mother of demons you know than the elder god you don't. I see. What a delightful surprise. Alright. Well, I suppose that's the end of that then. Time to return to my room and end this. N oh, wait. No. Oh, wait a minute. Agatha wants to talk. Uh, the library, right? Why, hello, Hunter. Hello. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna go talk to Agatha. I won't be long. Hunter, hello. Hello. You are welcome to attend Ileana's surprise party. As much as I would enjoy that, my presence unsettles those incapable of perceiving me. I'll celebrate from afar. So you will be there in spirit? Oh, Hunter, how I've missed your wit. Oh. 
Alright. Oh! You are a cute little shapeshifter, are you not? Interesting. This must be the black cats Tony spoke of. <sighs> Gaia is the protectorate of our world and the single power that holds the darkness at bay. Her mere presence is vital to restoring balance within the Elder Gods and revitalizing the Earth itself. Followers of Gaia seek to channel her restorative powers and aid her against Kuthon, Kuthon and its minions. Kuthon? The Bell Tower. When rung at night, the Abbey Bells would serve as a warning to the surrounding countryside that danger was near. When rung during the day, the peal of abbey bells was used to mark numerous different and now obscure transient feast days. There is said to be an access passage to the bell tower somewhere inside the abbey, but sadly its exact location has been lost to time. Well, that's interesting. Fragments of Raw Earth, excerpt from page 211. Uh, hematite is commonly used for grounding and stability, while the, while the iode stone's magnetic qualities were meant to attract good fortune regarding love and relationships. Meteorite, me, meteorite with its association with the celestial realm, can enhance astral projection and served as an excellent amplifier for dream and spirit journey. Okay. <sighs> Cone Trail, Night Stalkers. Uh, I don't care. I'm not gonna read all that. Um. Oh. Anything? Anything else new to read? No, that seems to be it for now. All right, now. Now that no one wants to talk, no one has anything to say, let's return to our room and call it a night. <laughs>